I was a professional lacrosse player and uh, had been for about nine years. Suddenly woke up one day uh, with this neuromuscular disease and couldn't walk and couldn't feel my hands. In the hospital, they thought it was gonna take between six months and a year and I was gonna have to relearn how to walk from scratch. Uh, Jennifer was, um, oddly enough, seven and a half months pregnant at the time. What I realized is I don't care what form Jim is in to me. He had, was this professional athlete that I'd married and his physical you know, body was what he did for a living. He used his body in ways that you know, a lot of other people can't. He's one of a very small percentage of people that actually get paid to, to play his sport. But when it all was taken away and you realize that the spirit of the person and that who they are is just way more important than anything else. I realized that Sports had given me a really good foundation for things like being resilient and optimistic. Jim somehow came out of this whole thing smiling. He just had this totally amazing, serene, calm, okay attitude about everything. I used, learned how to use gratitude to put myself in a more positive mood on a day-to-day -day basis and I walked out of the hospital six weeks later. He needed to have that mood in the right stable place for him to be able to get out of the hospital. We went back to university to start to study this and we learned very well that we already know the science um, that goes behind this, the reasons why gratitude and empathy and uh, hopefulness and optimism and mindfulness, why those things change the way we perform so well. And so uh, we decided to build a company that, uh, that taught people to be more grateful to start with and to apply some of the science that was already very well known and then to continue the research and extend it into the workplace deeper. And that's where we are today.